What's up guys, you're welcome once again to Debbie Data Channel where we talk about data science, productivity and faith. On today's video, we're going to be talking about getting started with DBT and how to create your first DBT project. If this is your first time, please I'd like you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified once a new video drops in and also please do hit the like button as it helps us in the algorithm and also encourages us to get more videos done. Okay. So what is DBT? So DBT, the acronym for Data Build Tool, is a data transformation tool that's um, being used, really, that's been created by Fishtime Analytics that helps um, data analysts to function like software engineers. And then um, over time, they have created the rule called Analytics Engineer, where such is such that with DBT, you can transform your data um, in one place. You can see your data lineages for dependencies. You can um, make use of version control with gates. You can um, document your code or your data within DBT. You can put testing for your code within DBT that helps you manage your data quality and stuff like that. Really, really powerful tool out there and every data professional should learn how to use DBT because it's become increasingly important for data engineers and analytics engineers to be able to use DBT. And um, you can read through their website to know more about um, their packages and other stuff like that. So there are two um, DBT products, DBT Cloud and DBT Core. DBT Core, which is the command line interface tool that is open source and allows everybody to install DBT on their systems and um, enjoy that um, powerful resource that comes with using DBT. And also the DBT Cloud, a cloud-based resource that um, is a managed service by DBT that allows you to they, they, they help you with all the installation and setup and you just have to access it on the cloud. And um, that comes at a fee actually, but then DBT Cloud is free for one forever. Like if you're a team of one, you can use DBT Cloud for one. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using DBT Core, DBT CLI, right? Uh... All right, so the first thing I'll be doing would be to, um, I have DBT installed on my system already. So I'm just going to create another environment to do that for me and um, I'm going to see. I'm going to use Wakanda um, create because I have DBT installed on my system already. So I'll just create an environment in a different environment. I'll just create an environment for this demonstration and I'll call this um, um, DBT learn. Okay. So I'll just change the environment now before installing Python. Conda activate mm, DBT learn and then we'll do Conda install Python 3.9. Okay, successful. And I do pip install dbt bigquery. All right, done. Okay, so there are two ways to um, um, when you're installing dbt core on your system. Uh, first is to create your folders and then push it to a GitHub repo or create your repo and then um, initialize clone your repo and then initialize the dbt folders within your repo so that's what we're going to do um, so we have this installed now we can check the version of dbt installed um, dbt how do i check the version now okay what does upcoming so we're going to just create a new repository okay um core installed version 1.3 yeah so bigquery plugin installed so we're going to call this repository dbt learn private repository and um, yeah very simple so we 
recreate this ref wall and then we'll clone this ref wall all right so um let's put this in documents and um i'll do kids clone Okay, an empty repo, yeah. So, um, let's see, let's change to this environment to the repo folder, change directory to dbt learn. Okay, and then um, we'll initialize dbt. So, cdbt init. dbt learn so we're initializing dbt inside of this which database you like to use i like to use bigquery one service account i'm going to use service account for my authentication key path file awesome so let's go and get the key path file so uh so I'm, I'm, I'm on my BigQuery project. I'm just gonna go to um, where do I find this now? Yeah, service accounts. So I'm gonna create a new service account. I'll call this DBT. Learn. an editorial continue done I'm going to create a key a JSON key that will be used so this is in my um, this is my download file Get file paths. Project ID. So this is my project ID. Data set of your DBT data set. So, um, So let me create a new data set for this I'll call this um, uh, David DBT learn um, I'll just create this data set so what's the question name yeah Threads or more, so I want 10 threads, um, like um, threads that will run concurrently. Okay, let's just do four or let's do five. Drop execution timeout. Um, let's say 300. Desired location, I'll split, I'll do the E2. Happy modeling successful so it's a dbt project um profile dbt learn written to profiles so tml using targets profiles um supply values run dbt debug to validate connection and all that so awesome like really awesome really awesome this is really really interesting yeah so the last time i did this wasn't um, like this so um where did you say it did that David F. Young. So the DBT, so you see this your profiles file. Profiles um DBT profiles. I would explain that. So let's 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 just move on and explain that. Um so now what we'll do is that we'll open this folder on we'll open this folder with our 
editor so so i'm going to open that folder on our editor and let's see what we have yeah so you can find this our folder in here when you open it on your vs code your dbt learn you can see all the several folders right so i'll just open terminal now on this you see the several folders macros models which would explain as we move further yeah all right awesome okay okay so i want to activate dbt learn all right conda activate um, dbt learn okay and then so let's do dbt debug to confirm our connection that we put on the terminal let's see yeah all checks pass connection is okay so you can see all these several folders so here we can start building our models in sql in this folder called um, models there's another folder example models right where you have your dbt first model so if we run this query now it will, will see it materialized as a table in our data warehouse the table we created for it to target all right so an important folder um you have your schema.yaml folder where it puts details about your um models right where you put the name description columns and put tests as well so um i want to get something yeah there's dbt packages where you can you can leverage already already made packages for your stuff and then dbt project right so this is where you name your project so i was saying something about them profiles um where is this guy so there is on your system you would find dbt Okay. yeah so you find this folder called dbt this folder has your profiles your profiles file this profile file has information about your connection so if you open this profile stuff let me bring it out so you can see the information i put here dbt learn the output the target is development environment data set is hitting and then the location for the key um you know and all that yeah. so let's do a dbt run so dbt run would profiles profiles it goes to it starts dbt learn um targets dbt packages and all that stuff yeah so let's just do dbt run so if you run these two models that we have that come with dbt example models <laughs> from source data you say there are no source data right runtime error mm. data set dbt david dbt now was not found location EU. oh my god did i use us if my location is us so let me change my location in profiles to us location is us yeah let's so see i'm going to the question question a couple has changed okay okay yeah five trades target did so successful two rows were created so if we open this if you open the set on bquery right now Can see the two tables the two models that were done so id and the view basically you can see the sql code used down here so really this like fundamentals of dbt and then next you push your um stuff say you miss some changes you push it back to your repository 
So we'll see um, heat start first. So go. And I'll do git add all. I do git commit first um, DBT project. Okay. And I'll do git push. Master branch. Mm. Let's see. I should have created a branch. I should have created a branch and moved to a branch. Yeah. Yeah. So best practice is to create a branch um and then push your changes to that branch and then merge to um the master branch yeah so i hope you got a thing or two out of this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and then we'll continue on our dbt on our next video thank you